AutoCAD has some animation tools that you can use when doing renderings or just for navigating around your model. So in your visualize, on your visualize tab and your animations panel, uh, we have some settings. So you've got your walk settings, uh, fly settings. So you, you can walk, you can fly, and then you've got your walk and fly settings. So the walk and fly settings, what that allows you to do is put in the walk fly step size. Okay, so how fast are you going to travel around the um, around the model? And then also how many steps per second are you going to take? Um, then what you've got is uh, you can also display instruction balloons. So, you know, if you don't use this quite often and you kind of forget what, you know, how to use it, uh, then whenever you enter the walk and fly, op uh, fly modes, it'll just give you a little instruction balloon telling you how to use or how to navigate. Um, you can do once per session, so that's every single time you open up AutoCAD and don't close it, or never, okay, if you, if you do use it quite often and it gets quite annoying. And uh, to walk and fly, it's basically your WASD and using your mouse. So uh, that's very much like uh, your, um, your gaming. So if you are into gaming, that's what you can do. Okay, so I'm going to go off and I'm just going to go fly. Uh, fly, what that allows me to, you can see a little pop-up. Walk and fly available only in perspective views. Do you want to change the current view? I do because I actually want to fly. Um, in the top or on the left-hand side over here, you've got a position indicator or locator. Um, this will just tell you where you are in relationship to your model. So if you're in quite a large model, um, then you're able to go and just see where you are so that you, um, if you, you'd you have to turn around if you can't see anything or if it's behind you. So what I'm going to do is you can see there I'm actually flying flying down. Okay, I probably could fly a little bit faster, uh, but you can see how how it's moving. And what I'm doing is holding down my left mouse button um, and and aiming at that green green cross in the middle of my screen. So that's where it's going. On the left hand side in the position locator, you can see how your position Z and your target Z are changing. Um, if you don't like the colors, uh, once again you can go and uh, you know change change the colors, you know, position indicator, red, which is my little red dot over there, um, and the target indicator, which is my green cross over there. Now, my position Z, I'm going to say, look, let's go down to 1,700. Okay, um, let's just take a look around. Okay, so I've just dropped all the way down to over here. So let's just go forward, and we can go through the wall. Now, with fly, you can basically uh, go up and down, so I can take a look at this. Um, and see what's going on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to walk, and we're going to see the difference between walk. So walk, you basically stay on one level. Okay, you can't go up, you can't go down. You you stay on that level and and you walk um, to where you want to go. Okay. So I'm trying to do the model. I'm going to go straight through. Walk stays on one level can go and change your position and your target as well. Okay, so that's your, your walk and fly. Um, now, what happens if you want to record something? So I'm just going to stop. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> I'm going to stop this. Stop. There we go. Okay, so um, let's go back to home over there. So what you notice over here, I've actually drawn a path which runs along the garden and up into the building to the front door. So if you wanted to record uh, that the camera moving along there, uh, we can use it, you can do it using the animation motion path. So selecting on the animation motion path brings up this dialog box over here. And on the top right hand side of here, you can see your frame rate, 30 frames per second, your number of frames, and the duration of the animation. So I'm going to go put that up to 30 seconds over there. And then you've got two options over here. You've got your camera, link it either to a point or a path. And your target, you can link to a, a point or a path. So I'm going to link it to a path because I wanted to follow that, that white curve that I've drawn over there, which goes up the stairs and through the front door. So select that. Go and select my path. Okay. Give it a name. Um, around the garden to the front door. Yeah, nice and descriptive. Okay. Then... Um, if I wanted to link it to a, a path, I could maybe have a dual path running along here. So it's it's always looking at that path, or maybe I wanted to like look at that window over there while it runs around that path that I've created. You can change the visual style as well. Okay, rendered, 3D hidden, uh, shaded. Okay, so I'm just going to say as displayed. Um, and let's just go click on preview. 
So there we go. So I'm going along the wall, following that uh, spline that I've created. And the camera's always looking forward, comes around. You can see the building on my right-hand side over there. Then I've got the fountain in the middle. Okay. Coming through over here, up the stairs, into the courtyard, and then up to the front door. Okay. So that's a preview of my of my animation that I've got over there. Um, and then obviously, you know, when you're happy with it, uh, then you can change what type of format you want to serve it in, AVI, MPG, or WNV, okay? You can have corner decelerations, okay? You can also put it in reverse. So if I put it into reverse, you'll see there it goes backwards. Okay, so it'll go backwards and uh, you'll see the, it'll go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, then your resolution, obviously the higher the resolution, the better the quality, okay? I'm just going to go do 320 by 240 as a test drive, and then select OK. Okay, this now brings up um, where you want to go and save this. And uh, let's just go test for the garden. And you can see over there, uh, frame number, oh dear, it's going in reverse. Okay. Okay, so basically, um, you know, that's that's how you'd go and create an animation in AutoCAD. Um, and you can go and render that as well um, and make it look really pretty for your customers. Thank you very much for listening.